Well, folks, I did it again. I purchased something off of an Instagram advertisement. This is the world's blackest paint, allegedly. As you probably could have deduced from my subscriber count, this is not a sponsored video, but um, while we're at it, I make videos about painting, amongst other things. So if that's something that interests you, the company is called Culture Hustle and they claim to have started their own cult, so I got to become a part of a cult when I subscribed to their email list after purchasing this. If there's one thing in marketing that will get me to purchase your product, it's, it's a cult references. Just outrageous things. Super flat, super matte, ultra pigmented acrylic paint. I guess they use pigments or materials in it that prevent 98% of light reflection because apparently when you use this paint, it is so black, it looks like a void. And if you paint it on a 3D object, it supposedly will make the object look almost flat. So I thought it would be really cool to paint it on the edges of a canvas. So when it's hanging on the wall, especially in a darker room, it looks like it's floating. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna go get a paintbrush, a palette, and get right to it. I'm going to use my palette paper, which is just like a wax coated paper. I honestly could probably just use wax paper from the grocery store. I'm getting away from the point. Anywho, look inside of there. It's just darkness. So I've shaken it up really well, and I'm gonna put some of this. Oh. I've got a, I don't know, what is this, a one inch synthetic brush. This was my, the first ever oil painting I've made. I don't necessarily care if I ruin it, so that's a great place to test. It is quite dark. Quite dark indeed. One of the cool things about this paint that I just had to get it is because it made me so artistically inspired. There are so many things that you can do with it. I kind of want to paint all of my hangers this with this black paint. So like when my closet, when it's like dark in my closet, it just looks like my clothes are hanging in, in um, midair. Okay. This is, this is the first coat. It is already pretty dark. That is kind of impressive. Like, damn. I used a relatively thin coat and I didn't use any water to water it down. I'm going to give that like a couple minutes and then and go ahead and paint my second coat. All right, so I have finished two coats and I'm actually really pleased. That's pretty dark. To give you some context, while I was painting the second coat, if I wasn't in direct light, like I actually couldn't see what I was painting over. I've noticed it's probably not dry all the way because I'm getting like some chalky black pigment on my fingers. The instructional video said to dry it 24 hours, but I'm impatient as a person. I don't know about you guys, but it's seems pretty dark to me. This is another painting that I painted the edges black. It's not finished, don't judge me. And here's the comparison. Regular black acrylic paint and Culture Hustle black 3.0 paint. This paint just absorbs light. It is ridiculous. For reference, this is this painting now hanging up on its spot on the wall. It looks pretty metal to me, I don't know about you. It just kind of inspires you to be creative. Uh, let me know if you have any recommendations of what I can do. I believe that I paid 30 US dollars for this paint. It's actually quite a big bottle. Obviously that's really pricey for acrylic paint, but I think I would pay like maybe six to eight dollars for a paint bottle this size of a low end acrylic, like a low quality one. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Pretty stoked on that. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me on this little journey into the void. I make painting videos. If you're interested in that, stick around. Maybe we'll paint some happy little clouds. We'll, we'll have a glass of wine. We'll enjoy each other's presence. <laughs> Goodbye.